evening and thanks for joining us. If you've been hoping for a cheaper cell phone service, it looks like you'll have to keep waiting. One of the companies expected to bid in a wireless auction has pulled out. That means the big three, Rogers, Telus, and Bell, remain, and the Harper government's promise to drive down prices is in disarray. Canadians pay some of the highest prices in the industrialized world at about $74 per month for an average plan. That's significantly more than people in the U.S. or U.K. Jacques Bourbeau explains what today's development means. Very few people leave home without them, but just because they're a fixture of modern life doesn't mean people are happy with their cell phones. We pay way too much for way too little. A wireless competition. The federal government is listening to these complaints and in this ad says the solution is more competition, leading us to the promised land. More choice. Lower prices. Better service. A key part of this plan for more competition is an auction starting today for airwaves that can be used by wireless companies. An opportunity for a smaller player like Win Mobile to better compete against the big boys, Rogers, Bell and Telus. But Wind is pulling out of the auction, meaning that in many parts of the country, the big three will continue to dominate. The government's policy is in absolute tatters right now. You know, the, the vision was new competitors entering into the marketplace. That simply isn't going to happen. And it's really back to the drawing board if the government is serious about facilitating better competition in the Canadian marketplace. Wynn pulled out of the auction because its main investor, a European company called Vimpocom, withdrew its promised funding. The withdrawal tied to frustration with Ottawa's foreign investment rules, which prevent Vimpelcom from acquiring majority control of wind. There's been mixed, mixed signals coming from Ottawa. We liberate, the, Ottawa opened up uh, the foreign ownership restrictions on telecommunications companies back in 2012, but then in 2013, the first two applications under, that new, uh, under the new regulations were rejected. There's no shortage of opinions about what Ottawa should do next relax foreign investment rules, even regulate prices and service. But everyone agrees action is needed fast. Unfortunately, the government uh, has not been aggressive in terms of fixing our broken cell phone market and ensuring Canadians have access to independent, affordable alternatives. And so the government has to make up for, for, la for lost time. The Harper government has a lot riding on its promise to consumers that they will soon see lower prices and better service. A promise it can't afford to break with an election coming up next year. Donna?